In today's video, I will show you three different creative ways to use text templates. To begin, open a new project by tapping on the plus sign. Go back to the main timeline and tap on text. Choose text template. A text template is a piece of pre-designed text that allows you to make professional looking chapter titles. To use a text template, just tap on it like this. CapCut now has a paid subscription, but you can use any of these templates in any of these categories for free, so long as it does not say Pro in the upper left hand corner. Just select a template by tapping on it and tap on the check mark. To copy a template, select the template and tap on copy. Now you have a second copy of that same template. Then all you need to do is move forward in your project. To the point where you want your next title. Just long press and drag it and drop it where you want it. All you need to do is change the text. Select the template, double tap on your template. Then you can select text and change it. Text templates can be used to make YouTube thumbnails. Open a new project, select photo, and select your background photo. Once your photo is selected, tap on add, and it will appear inside the project. Delete the default ending. Move your playhead to the beginning of your clip, tap on overlay, and then add overlay. I'm going to use this photo here, select it and tap on add. You can move the photo. Shrink it down and resize it. To remove the background of the photo, just tap on Cutout. Tap on Remove Background. And now you have a photo with a transparent background. Tap on the check mark. The hardest part of making thumbnails for me is adding the text. This is where text templates come in handy. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of your clip. Tap on T for text. And then select Text Template. Double tap the template once more to add your title text. Once you've got your text added, you can Move it over here to reposition it. Keep in mind that you can't really change the style or color of the text, but you can change what the text says and where it appears on your thumbnail. Here's the CapCut logo. Just tap on Add, and it gets brought into the project. Just pinch to shrink it down, then long press and drag to move it into position. Make sure everything lines up just so it's easier for you to work with. Go back to the main timeline and tap on text. You can make adjustments to it by moving the elements around. To move each element, just select it and move it into position like this. Tap the full screen icon here, then take a screenshot.
tap done and tap save to photos. There's your completed thumbnail. If you take a look at the photo of me, you'll notice that my face looks a little washed out by too much light. I was sitting next to a window when I took this photo. Adding a black and white filter will fix it. If you've got the newest version of CapCut, you'll notice that the black and white filters can now be found under the category of mono. I like filter number one. You can use text templates to create professional looking channel banners like this one here. Tap the plus sign to open a new project. Tap where it says photo and then choose your photo. Tap on ratio and choose 16 by 9. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of your clip and then tap on add overlay. Tap overlay and then add overlay. To make a channel banner properly, you need to add a channel art template. This is a diagram you can find online. This is the image I'm looking for. Tap cap cut and import footage to cap cut. Select the template image and tap on overlay. This will turn it into an overlay. Do not resize or move the channel banner template. This will create problems when you upload your banner. Tap on add overlay one more time. I'm going to use this photo here. Just select it and add it to the project. Make sure that the playhead is at the beginning of your clip so everything lines up. Pinch the photo down to make it smaller and then place it inside the gray area. Next, you can tap on adjust to adjust the photo. Find the property labeled saturation. Bring it all the way down to the left. Increase the contrast. So I'll bring this letter all the way to the right. Then tap on the check mark. Notice that this photo is outside of the text and logo safe area. So when the banner is uploaded to YouTube, it will not be displayed properly. Select the photo and bring it over so that it's well inside the first gray box. Leave a little bit of space on either side of the box because as you'll notice when you upload the banner it will shrink it down and make it smaller. You have to consider that when creating your channel art. To use a text template, tap the T for text, tap text template. Although CapCut now has a paid subscription, most of the features can still be used for free. You can use any one of these templates in any one of these categories so long as they do not say Pro in the upper left hand corner. Scroll through the templates in your chosen category and choose one. To remove a template, tap on the X. I'm going to use this template here. Tap on the check mark. Here's why you want to make sure your playhead is at the beginning of your clip. If it's not, it will actually add your template at the end of your clip. Just long press and drag it into position like this. Select your template, double tap on your template, bring up the keyboard. There are three lines of text in this template, but I only need two. I'll delete the first line of text. And then the second line of text. And I'll type my value proposition all about apps. Select the second text element, remove the text that's there, and type what you want. Shrink your text down so that it fits inside of the gray area. That looks good. To avoid problems when 
you upload your banner, you may want to place your text and photo element as close to the center of the area as possible. Tap on overlay one more time. Select your photo. Make sure that it's exactly where you want it. Select the template layer and bring down the opacity so that you can't see it. Tap on the check mark. Make sure nothing is selected. Then tap on the full screen button and take a screenshot. Bring up the screenshot editor. Crop out the edges like this. Tap on done. And tap save to photos. Open the YouTube app. Tap your channel icon once more. Tap your channel. Tap the edit icon right here in the middle of the channel page. Tap this camera icon. Select choose from your photos. Select this photo here. You can see that my hat is cut off. Back out of the screen. Close the YouTube app, but leave this page open. Go back into CapCut and make your changes. Select your template layer. Tap on Opacity and bring the opacity all the way up to 100%. I'm going to select my photo and bring it down a little bit. I'm going to move the text template. Down a little bit, make sure nothing is selected. Turn the opacity of the template layer back down to zero. Tap on the check mark, then hit the full screen button over on the left hand side. Take another screenshot. And crop it out one more time. Then I'll close CapCut. And upload the banner. This time, be sure to select the photo in the upper left hand corner as this will be the most recent photo you can choose. Now you can see that everything fits. Tap on save. If you don't see your channel banner right away, just back out of your channel page. Tap on your channel icon one more time. Tap your channel. The channel banner looks great. Here is what this channel banner looks like on my iPhone. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to tap on the notification bell once you've subscribed so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.